like the silk press that you just saw and you want to achieve that same look, then carry on watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and I am showing you today how I do a silk press without hair grease. Yes, I said it. I followed a couple of suggestions from you guys, the viewers, the subscribers, to maybe try a silk press without hair grease. So here it is. So before we get on to all that good stuff, I'm gonna quickly show you a silk press that I did a year ago with hair grease. I'm just gonna go ahead, put a little bit of hair grease on and then I'm gonna press my hair press. I'm going to do this section by section and I'm going to be using my coconut oil and castor oil pressing oil by Dax which is this So as you can see guys, I said I love it, which I did, which I do. However, I, I am kind of loving this uh, without the hair grease silk press. Although I do think the results I got in the last video was due to me being heavy handed because as I said, I applied it once my hair was wet and I was blow drying it. Then after the blow dryer, I applied some more before straightening my hair so it did give it a flat kind of look however over the days with this style the grease did kind of in a sense uh, disperse as it were and my hair became less greasy it wasn't greasy to begin with it was just weighed down but my hair became more flowy more free flowing yes more free flowing throughout the days and I have got a video for you to see at the end of this one to see how long my silk press lasted with the hair grease I'm now going to show you how I silk press my hair without the hair grease. All I used in my hair was this Dr. Miracles Akai Thermal Protection Styler. It's more of a liquid. Once you put it on your hair, you can rub your hands together and there's no residue whatsoever. But obviously it just has a supposed light film on top of the hair. I used a tiny little bit of leave-in, but when I say tiny, I mean a little dime size amount. So just a disclaimer, whilst I was filming this without hair grease silk press, a big chunk of the beginning went missing. What I've got is in the middle of the video, I'm just showing you what my hair looks like currently with it being silk pressed. As you can see, the results are nice and flowy. I did find using this method without hair grease, I did have to go over my strands a few more times, maybe about two to three more times than I do with the hair grease. If I'm doing it with the hair grease, one time passing with the straighteners is sufficient enough. Also, I'd just like to mention the temperature that I was using to straighten my hair. So it is 235 degrees Celsius, which is 455 degrees Fahrenheit. I get asked this question a lot. I usually use the heat 235 degrees Celsius, 455 Fahrenheit. So here I'm just showing you the comparison of how my silk press looks with the hair grease as you can see in the small left hand corner in comparison to how my hair looks without the hair grease. You can see a lot more movement, it doesn't look as weighed down. With the silk press without the hair grease and just the thermal heat protectant, my hair was flowy from the get go, however over time my hair became a bit more frizzy, um, it, didn't stay, it didn't stay straight for long, majority I believe maybe three to four days. So before we continue with this video, I have got new merch that I'm selling currently for the summer. So get your summer items and you get a 10% discount with your first purchase. I have items such as these, my Lauren Morgan top, there you go. Or if you prefer, a bucket hat like this. So I've got bucket hats, I've got baseball caps, I've got cups, I've got candles, t-shirts. As I said, just click the link down below. Anyway guys, back to this video. So I was planning to leave my hair just straight as it was, but I decided to use Velcro curlers, which I'm showing you here. The reason I decided to go for this is because I knew deep down in my soul that my hair wasn't gonna stay straight for long. So I thought in the meantime, if it starts to revert, I've got my hair in big curls, so it kind of looks like it's got that edgier, less sleek look. I was pin curling it at night, which I've shown on my Instagram. So which one did I prefer in the end? I did prefer using hair grease. 
However, the takeaway from that is, if I've blow dried my hair with the hair grease, I don't think you need to put any more hair grease on when you're about to straighten. If you do, don't put it on section by section, just put it all over your hair, and I don't mean a big chunk, I mean the smallest amount, just all over your hair, and then straighten it like that. I don't think you need to go over overboard like I did, and I feel that you can achieve these looks with the flowy silk press, just not weighed down, okay? With the silk press without the hair grease, for my hair, which is between 3C, 4A, my hair reverts quite quickly. So I like both ways. However, I think I still would go with my hair grease. And I think once I've taken out these extensions, I will do a silk press with hair grease again from the beginning. So you can see it from it being washed, blow dried, applying the hair grease, then straighten my hair, and then you can see the end results. I think I'm gonna do have to do a full video so you can see it all the way through. Anyway, as I mentioned for this hair, guys, just before I go, this is my protective style, not the sprays. I did it myself. It took three days. It took three days. Yes, three days. And that's because I stopped the started so if you do want to see where I got this hair from in my Amazon store where you can also see other items I use such as hair grease such as even my filming equipment the camera I use my ring light I'm hooking you guys up click down below to my Amazon store and you can see the products that I use on my hair from my previous videos such as the Dax hair grease unfortunately I don't have a link to the Diamante hair straightener that I used in this video however I do have a link to the Turvix electric hot comb that I've used in a previous video. If you want to purchase that, you can click the link down below and it will take you straight to the link where you can purchase as well also. So anyway guys, that is it for this video. If you do want to see how long my silk press lasted, click this video now.